the dark elf just keeps getting bullied it's not even her fault actually it is because she drew a blade on itami the green people that she's seeking help for but everyone's like it's impossible because the region that we need to cross you know empire borders what happens if we mobilize troops and kind of go there it looks pretty bad it's like we're starting a war and on top of that itami is already visiting the capital right so she did have that adamantite resource and that hasn't really been shown yet so maybe if we show that there'll be an actual incentive for us to help I don't know how this plot was going to go, but there's also Chuka's, you know, dead dad, you know, imaginary dad friend, you know, plot line that has to also be tied up. I'm not looking too forward to that, but hey, let's begin today's reaction. What's he wearing? Is it the Empire's clothing? Hello. Cultural appropriation! Dork? What are we doing today? Who's coming? Enemies? Women. Looks like a paradise here, man. The Imperial capital is beautiful. Fucking gushing over magical girls right now, but it's you know consensual fucking oh, hopefully it's consensual right now. What's going on here? Is this the prince? Is this the prince? Okay. Oh! Oh no! It's the fucking slave girl! It's the slave girl in the opening with the fluffy ears! Warrior Bunny Chief. <laughs> She is screaming, bro! <laughs> Zolza. <laughs> Prince Giat. <laughs> Your comrade's life. So she's like taken hostage here. She's a bunny chief. So the better she is in pleasuring him, the more that they'll be safe. What a piece of shit. I mean, the dad, though. I mean, look at the dad. Like, do you, are you surprised? You? I hope the bunny warrior. He, what, are you, what are you fucking looking at, Baldi? I hope the bunny warrior fucking twists his dick off or something. Because if, if she's a cheat. Well, I don't know how strong the prince is. But we got to get revenge, right? I feel like it'd be an appropriate revenge. <laughs>俺は解明的な男だから種族の違いで差別は譲ってやるぞ。お戯れを。<笑><笑><笑><笑> Were you gonna twist his head off? Ain't <laughs> ain't no way he's gonna tell him. Come on, scream harder. Come on, come on, scream harder. <laughs> he, I mean, he he did say he doesn't discriminate. You know, not just any races, but gender and age as well, bro. If there's a hole, there's a way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Memes aside, memes aside. What is he saying? Royal family in the Senate. <laughs> oh boy, the enemy ambassador. So he's gonna go and meet Itami, huh? Okay, here we fucking go. And they didn't show us, you know, his 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 area down there. Not that I want to see it. I thought they might fucking do something. You think he's hung? You think he's fucking swinging? I don't know. He's a fucking statue made after him. Charlie's not a lolicon, right? Sugawara! Little spoiled little kids, you know, little spoiled lollies, man. Alright, you gotta keep her happy because she's fucking rich, important. Here, kid, here's some pearls. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything about it. 
need to go out. God damn, you could have seducing little girls. God damn. So this is what they call lolly cons in Japan, huh? Right? Because she's, you know, becoming aware of the culture right beyond the gate, right? Yeah. Politically, be smart in her best interest to keep her happy, though. That's not a good thing. Stop! Stop! Uh, oh shit, we're gonna show them barbecue? Yo, their, their minds are gonna fucking blow if they fucking just taste barbecue, bro. Just like, it's, it's like, even back here, in here, right? Back then, like, even salt and pepper is probably such a rare commodity. You give them fucking, like, the shittiest, like, A1 barbecue sauce, and their minds are gonna go, like, What in the fuck is this? Cool. Furuta the chef. <laughs> so, the girls, the ladies, they all get wooed with desserts, cute snacks, you know, tea party. And the guys are like, yo, watch what we can do with our fucking guns. And, you know, using royal, you know, dummies to say, like, this is what's gonna happen to you. If, if you try to fight us, like, this is what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> yeah, don't even try. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? <laughs> do not unleash the guns on these goons, no. <laughs> Actually, Pandora's box, dude, if we open firearms to them. Here we go, 81 millimeters, bro. Here we go. Boom. Dude, that delay in the sound is so realistic. Look at it. And the sound, because it's far away. Right? Look at that. They are just... Bro, it's just fucking making my YouTube thumbnail right here. The fucking average YouTube thumbnail. He's still holding up. Oh, oh, PTSD? Trauma? You fuck with us? This will... What happened to you? Your people? They all gonna die! Exactly. So what do you think? What do you think? Mm-hmm. Who's the savages now, huh? Who's the barbarians now? All right. Cut the small talk. All right, bro skip to fuck bro press the fucking skip button on the fucking story quest dialogue. Oh, dude, so, like everyone here is aware, right? Everyone who's aware is like, we cannot fuck with Japan, right? This modern weapon, that's too much, right? They're all like, we submit, but this prince, he's not gonna submit. He's so, so. Is he gonna get humiliated or will he get away with the bullshit he's pulling up? This is gonna get very interesting. We can't just kill him, guys. We, I, I want to, but like, think about it. You show up here and hope for peace. And the first thing you do is kill the crown prince? That doesn't look too good, guys. That looks really bad. In fact, I bet the emperor straight up is like, you know what? My shitty fucking crown prince, it, what would be a fantastic position for the emperor to be in, huh? For them to slowly, you know, you know, sign a sign a peace treaty. Or for the emperor to be like, my fucking idiot son, go there and start some shit, and fucking somehow get yourself in trouble to the point where we can have an excuse to like, you know, um, not have peace with the Japanese people or something, right? It, it kind of makes sense knowing what the emperor has done in episode two, right? He fucking he 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 ruined his own people. Not really his people, but there's the empire, and there's like the great houses, and he doesn't want to make sure that the, the great houses below get enough power to revolt, but maybe this is like the emperor's, you know, best fucking opportunity. He's like, I hate my fucking son too! Fucking kill him! I don't know why it's funny. We're like making sure no one sees these boomers. It's like we're cheating on our girlfriends and like making sure these hoes aren't being seen. All right, here comes the prince. Zolzo, crown prince. Zolza? Zolzo? Zolzal. Oh, that's what Giga Chad made. <laughs> nope. 
I guess it lost. The invitation got lost. Of course not. Kinda dumb. Behold the power of Wagyu Japanese meat. Racist. Oh my! <laughs> and yep, yeah, it's already over. He's done. He, he, he just fell for the fucking meat. You just give him some fucking meat. All right, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Close rip off. It's not food wars just yet. Would have been very fun. Want us to see the drama happen. Yes. And we're being poor. She's actually fucking twitching. She's actually fucking losing it. I guess the demands that we have is actually that crazy. All the gold coins in the empire. It can't even match what we want. Get the fuck off me. Okay, gotta talk to more important people. Empire? The Emperor is back finally! What does he think of all this? Emperor's a very interesting character. Okay. And then back out of the negotiations? And when the negotiations grind to a halt, Japan will break them off themselves. Why? He's got some plans. What's he scheming? Why would Japan back off? What? What has he already planned? I can't tell if he's just talking big out his ass or if he actually has plans. But based on what we've seen, just a little bit, what we saw in episode two, I believe that he does have plans. So he thinks that if we negotiate and there comes to a point where we might end up agreeing, he's saying by that point, Japan will break off the deal themselves. The emperor will have a situation unfold to the point Japan will break off the negotiations. Why? Why would they want to stop the peace? I don't know. Let him cook. <laughs> oh, it's the red light district here. Ooh, oh, who are you? Okay, I'm not taking that fucking dog, bro. Come on. New characters. Kurokawa. Let's go, Kurokawa. He does not get enough screen time or lines. Kuri bias, she honestly has been. Is Kurokawa just gonna like help out all the prostitutes here? Oh my god, this is great. I was just about to say how Kurokawa doesn't get enough, you know, screen time, and Kuri bias, she has been dominating. In like the first half of season one, and actually this is season two, right? This is technically I don't even know. I combined the two 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 uh two seasons worth of episodes. This is called episode thirteen, but it could also be episode one, season two, or it's episode thirteen, you know, core two of season one. How the fuck does that work? I don't know. Anyways, Kuroko is getting more developments, and there's a there's a lot of developments I see on the screen right now. You gonna like treat them of like their STDs and shit? Oh, she's smoking that good shit. <laughs> Out of context, Cliss. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> Hello. Yes. I, I love horse. I love horse. Let's go. Sell it to me. What are we selling? Uh, medicine? Birth control? We can't really do business if we get knocked out. Birth control. So we're selling birth control. Uh, birth control? I don't know if it's condoms or birth control. It's like an act that she's putting up, right? Kurukawa's just trying to be empathetic. It's safe here? Yeah? Really? It's a red light district, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The fuck is going on? What the fuck was this? He was running out the door and then. Oh, gun! Gunfire! Gunfire! I was gunfire! They all did.
Grenade? That was clean. So the games got wiped out, now it's safe here. And this is now we have like SDF kind of like uh Basically they wouldn't fuck around anymore because this area is kind of under SDF like jurisdiction. So it's like land territory wars and Itami Well, I guess some other people did it. Itami probably himself didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy's name? Uh, fuck, I forget. You know, Itami is a junior that's really into cat girls, right? That's like a furry, right? I'm so, did he did he also reject it? It's like, I guess it's like a rule. It's like, yo, you know, we as the green people, we need to like, you know, not engage with the prostitutes here, right? So it's like, but what was that guy's name? I didn't know that the cat girl guy, he really did it? <laughs> Report on the STDs in the special region. Gotcha. They must be some crazy STDs here, man. Cause like they got like fucking random beast girl. I mean, this is a fucking harpy, right? They gotta have some weird ass shit, bro. Misery. You wanna you wanna come over to Arnis? Sucking up? Just sucking up? Not most of the mothers. It's kind of sad how she kind of says all this with like a cool face, but you know. Don't start something you can't end. She can't be saved. Maybe she can, but don't start it. What is this? Oh, it's Penis Place? Yo, where's Bozes at? True, true. Bird girl and also the rabbit like girl in the tavern? She had a part time job. What, what is up with her, man? What's her part time job? Not this job. Did you just say you were a tad rude when you met Itami? Didn't you, didn't you just accuse Rory Mercury of illegal underage drinking and then you pulled a blade? You, you just drew a fucking sword, yeah? You drew a fucking sword on the Itami and then, and then you left. What a great first impression. Why the fuck would he save you against the Enryu? Well, because he's a main character. Because, you know, he, he'll do it. <laughs> Magical girls. He loves magical girls. Threaten Itami with the things that's precious to him? Or he's just gonna provide something that's precious? Like what? Lele? Chuka? Rory? I thought you don't get cold when you drink. Your body just like heats up to the point where you can't even feel that it's cold. Anyways. Oh my goodness. So much Kuroko fan service today. Maybe she does want to be saved. We gotta bring him home, man. We, we got they all gotta get saved, man. Come on. Volcano? It's like intuition. Natural disaster is gonna happen. Is he not believing them or what? What, what is the chief? Natural disasters, like the animal's instincts, right? This is his example. Did he just insult them? By calling them animals? No, no, they're, they're like animal hybrid humans. But I, I wonder if that's like an insult. Like, like imagine like a bird girl or like a, a dog girl. And he's like, oh, back in Japan, I remember when the, the dogs and birds were barking and shit. I remember it's just like that. And all the, the all the girls are like Animals? The the fuck? <laughs> oh, Mercury is up. An earth shake. Not an earthquake, an earth shake. <laughs> what is this? A fucking milkshake? Can you call a milkshake a fucking milk quake? Why is it called a milkshake? Because you shake it. Holy fuck, I just learned something new today. I never thought about it. Milkshake. Because you fucking shake it. Wow. <laughs> wow, I'm slow. Sometimes you don't question things, that's so obvious, you know? And you really think about it and it's like, oh. 
あるかもしれないということですそう交渉前の大事なタイミングでこえ揺れています There's the earth shake Pinatos So there's like a volcano erupting or some shit and there's like an earth shake at the same time Holy fuck, that's this is a serious one. That, this, this is not little rumbling. Earthquake. All right, that's the episode and beginning of a new season or, you know, the second core of season one, whatever it is. Things are heating up immediately. We're seeing with an atrocity, which is the fucking first prince, right? Like this piece of shit. Then again, like what did I expect from like, the emperor's son? I'm surprised that Pina Colada has turned out like pretty decent knowing the fucking emperor, right? The crown prince is an absolute fucking asshole, but there's also uh, a second prince, right? That's apparently kind of competing in the shadows, right? I forget his exact name, but the prince did mention it. So it's kind of cool to see, you know, more siblings showing up, more world building from the empire side because the emperor's family, it's very fascinating to me. This girl, you know, the the bunny chief girl, I'm, I hope that she gets her revenge. I hope she fucking twists this guy's fucking dick off, bro. Straight up. Like, could you imagine? Because like, I see her in the opening. Obviously, we're gonna save her at some point. Could you imagine if he, if she fucking ends the crown prince's bloodline by fucking twisting off his balls? That would be the greatest revenge that she could enact onto the royal family, bro. Oh my god, could you fucking imagine? Hey, that's my headcanon. And aside from that, you know, there's talks of peace happening. Um, it's not quite there yet because that's like an earth shake happening, but there's also the fire dragon plot. The first prince might do some other shit, but he's gone with the meat for now. And then there's kind of, you know, Obviously, with Kurokawa and uh, Kurokawa and, you know, the, the different girls over here. I thought that they were all asking to be saved at the end, but it's like, nah, they just you know, heard an earth shake. So they're kind of warning us, but it'd be nice to see them, you know, come over to Jonas and Alanis. And, you know, there's the guy that really loves cat girls, like 100%. He's going to fucking, you know, get in there. Anyways, that's it for me. If you're still here, if you're interested, if you're, if you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time. Take care.